let me give a quick demo before we build the project so if the water is less than 30 percent in jar red led will glow if the water is above 30 percent and below 70 percent yellow led will glow and if the water in the container is more than 70 percent then a green led will glow so let's see here okay now you will see here see the green led it is now glowing so that's a project we can uh, use any jar with a small change in the code okay to build this project we need nano or you know if we have then ultrasonic sensor and then we need registers leds free i have taken jumper wires and of course breadboard so connection is very simple so every single detail to build this project is given in this video so follow along the way i am doing and you should be able to build this project this is very very simple project it does not need any kind of soldering and anything it's very simple Okay, so I have uh, the shorter leg will go to ground and long leg will go to 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So details to uh, connect the wire is given on the screen as well as you can go to the description, open the hyperlink of my blog, my website and from there you can also take the reference it's very simple okay. so from D2 like from D2 I will be uh, like D2 will go to green LED and why I have taken single coil wire I have not using jumper wire here because I want uh, you know I don't want to show too much wire in the video right I want to you know uh, show LEDs clearly that's the reason I have taken single coil wire instead of jumper wire at least for this connection LED is connecting okay so again uh, the one wire like D2 is done now it's time to connect the yellow LED to D3 I hope it should be visible to you in the video, the connection details. The last part is uh, the last LED, which is a red LED, which will go to D4. Again, it has to go to in a resistor.
so i made one mistake while connecting the wire like this if you found the mistake what i did comment below i have corrected that and i will explain what exactly i did now let's go ahead and connect ultrasonic sensor the details to connect the wire is on the screen as well as in the, in the blog the url you, you see in the description okay so four wires we need and that will go to uh, you know uh, nano then win is the positive like 5 volt or vcc which is on ultrasonic sensor it will go to win pin on nano and gnd to gnd gnd will remain same or you know nano as well as ultrasonic sensor right so vcc you see here vcc uh, is equal to win here on the on, on nano now it's time to connect trigger like i have taken t9 and t10 and that's also given in the code so trigger and trigger and echo uh, both pins are connected so all four wire has been connected because i am using 30 inches uh, jar the water container so i need to extend the wire i have to extend otherwise it will not fit on the on top of the bottle the jar okay so i have taken uh, male to female wires if you are using shorter uh, like uh, if, if you are using a uh, small container you don't have to do it but my container is little big so that's the reason i had to you know extend the wire everything will remain same i'm just extending the wire uh, so yeah ground eco vcc and trigger or four pin So this is a really very very simple project uh, anyone building it for the first time should be able to do it because every single detail to uh, make this project is given on the website and I have uh, I have explained I have showed everything on in this video as well now the connection is done It's time to upload the code now and uh, then we should be able to uh, test how it works so this is my URL uh, this is the URL of uh, my blog visit uh, this URL and see the wiring connection details to uh, make this project okay and uh, then right below you see code If you scroll down you will see the exp explanation of the code how code works so everything single detail to build this project is given on uh, in this video uh, and in in this uh, blog okay so paste here and uh, the change i did here right, line number 45 so the height of my container right now is uh, 30 or 20 rather yes it is 20 centimeter if the height of your tank is below 20 centimeter or maybe 100 centimeter or 50 centimeter you can change just number and it will work this is the container I have taken height is around 20 centimeter uh, by mistake I said 30 it is 20 centimeter okay. so with the help of double tape I have uh, sticked it on top of it there should not be any water contact to the sensor it should be contactless So ideally the red LED should glow but it is not glowing the reason was the pin you know the register was not connected to the longer pin of LED that's the reason so now you see here 
water level is still less than 30 percent red led is glowing i'm putting more water into it now LED, uh, yellow led is glowing now it's time to put more and more water so if it reaches above uh, 70 percent like i said in the beginning of the video green led will glow so this is very good project and uh, simple as well okay yeah thanks for watching